Michelle Loss. Welcome to another workout with our Fit Cube. Just go ahead and turn on your counter for the start of our workout. I have the workout here with me, which I'll explain to you during our warm up, which is what I want you to do now is just hop on. Let's get that blood flowing. Let's get everything moving. We'll just do it for like a short three minutes. Feel free to go again at your own pace. So if you want to step it up a notch, just step a little closer. Make sure the bottoms of the pedals aren't actually touching the ground. So just before they touch the ground, we'll let them come back up. Again, if you need to go slower, just take the, the rhythm down a little bit. All right, I have my timer in one hand, which I should have started about 20 seconds ago. So I will just keep that going for a quick three minute workout. This way it gets everything moving. And I'm gonna to explain to today's workout while, while we warm up. May as well do something productive while we're stepping away. All right, we're gonna do five exercises. 30 seconds on. If you need a more of a challenge, if you need more of a challenge, feel free to even put it up to 40 seconds of work time or even 45 seconds of work time and then rest for 15. So what we wanna do is we wanna keep each workout or each exercise one minute long the whole thing, which includes the rest. We're gonna do five exercises, then we're gonna repeat that three more times. We're gonna to try to keep it high intensity, interval training. That will burn those calories, and you will, you will actually still continue to burn even two hours after the fact. We're gonna try and burn about 350 calories in the next 15 minutes. We're gonna feel amazing. All right, so I'll, Without further ado, because we're running out of time, I'm gonna explain the workout. We're gonna keep it in the grip position, which is this position right here for the first exercise. We're going to do push-ups. High plank position, keeping our core engaged, or we can also do them from our knees. Because we're on a timer, feel free to do as many as you can, and if you have to stop or rest, no problem with that too. So I'm gonna keep it 30 second work time, 30 second rest. Then we're gonna flip it over to the jump side, okay? The platform side, and we're gonna do step up knee ups. Feel free to just do step ups. And if you wanna add and drive up that knee, you can do 15 seconds on one side and 15 seconds on the other, or one, or you can just alternate, all right? Then we're gonna flip it over to the twist side. And we're going to basically, I can say run on the spot. We're gonna get on our butts and we're going to basically push our knees in and out and see where it goes. Maybe we'll do both knees out, both knees in. In and out, then we have back to the step side. We're gonna step, we're gonna grab the resistance bands and we're gonna do a front raise, okay? And then lastly, we're gonna hit the grip side, which is the step side, and turn around and do some tricep dips. All right, it's been about three minutes. Again, I had started talking without starting the timer. All right, so hopefully we're all nice and warmed up. Do a few upper body circles, just because my lower half is certainly warmed up and not my upper half. Just a couple, maybe a couple of punches out just to get everything, those joints moving, those muscles activated, all right? And when you're ready, let's get set up for our first exercise. Okay, which will be on the grip side, push-ups. Again, feel free, full plank position or from our knees. We're gonna start 30 seconds, let's go. Do as many as you can in the 30 seconds. Another way, if you don't feel like doing a workout this style, feel free to take these exercises and add rep numbers to them. So 12 to 15 reps for toning, strength, if you want to add a little bit more weight to challenge yourself, you can add a weighted vest to you if you want. Three, two, and rest for 30. So I did those from my knees. I kept my core engaged and my butt down. So when you looked at me, I'm in a straight position. All right, 20 seconds to get ready for our next one. We're going to flip the machine and we're going on to our twist side. All right, we're going to sit on it. Make sure you have our, hand, our hands on the grip, and we're gonna bring our legs in and out, but I want more 
in and out like this. So it looks like we're almost running on the spot. And let's go. All right, we can turn around in a circle if you want to. Woo. Make sure you have enough room to do all the exercises. Okay, lean back, feel the core working. My legs are burning as well because they're going in and out. All right, five more seconds. Almost like we're cycling on the spot. Three, two, and break for 30. If you feel you need to continue on, go for 45 and rest for 15. All right. Now we're going to go on the jump side. There we go. Whew. We're going to step up with the knee up. Make sure the twist side is to you. That way it'll be a little bit more stable. Ready to go in three, two, and step up, knee up. You can alternate or do the same leg for 15 seconds, which I'm doing. Nice work, five more seconds. And switch legs, stepping up the other side and driving that knee forward. That's it. Five more seconds and we're gonna rest. Two and rest. Whew. Turning it on to the step side now. So flip it over. There we go. All right. We're gonna start in 15 seconds. We're going to step and front raise. All right, working those shoulders. Whew. Starting in five seconds. Get ready. Two, one, and front raise and step. Same idea, don't let the stepper hit the floor on the way down. Fifteen seconds left. Go at your own pace. If you need to slow it down, catch your breath. Take it down a notch. Five more seconds. Three, two, and rest. Keeping it right here on the grip side. We're going to turn around and do tricep dips. Keep the elbows in. Okay, don't keep them out here. You can bend your knees or keep your legs straight out. All right, we're gonna go in 10 seconds, so get into position. Okay, hands are back here. Five, three, two, and let's lower down for 30 seconds. Breathe. Feel those muscles working. We're engaging our triceps. Feel it in our shoulders as well, even our chest. 15 seconds. And to think once these 15 seconds are done and we rest, we've already one third done. We've done five minutes of workout time. Woo, and rest. All right, round one is done. Five minutes, it's almost done. So we're going to get back to round number two. We're actually going to keep it right on the grip side where it is. We're going to start in about 10 seconds. We're going to go back into push-up position from our knees or full plank position for 30 seconds. Ready to go in three, two, one. Let's push up. Round two, you got this. We could technically mix up the exercises every round, but you know what? Sometimes Simple is better. Just keeping those same exercises, really focusing at targeting those same muscle groups per workout is really going to make that great difference in how you feel after. Five seconds. Awesome. And rest. All right. We're going to flip it over to the twist side. Okay. Again, sitting on our bum, we're going to do in and out. We're kind of like cycling on the spot. We're going to get set up. Okay. 10 more seconds of rest. Everyone feeling okay? Don't forget if you're tired, rest or grab a sip of water when you need it. 
We're going in three. Get those knees up and let's go. Cycle it out. In and out if you feel better. You could do both in and out. Right now I'm just basically cycling. Nice work. Good core work. I feel it burning in my legs as well. 15 seconds. Nice work, guys. 10 more seconds. Woo! Five, two, one, and break. All right, we're gonna jump side. Okay, so flip it towards you. Having the twist side in front of you for more stability. We're gonna go in 15 seconds. We're going to step up, knee up. Again, I'm gonna do 15 seconds on one side and 15 seconds on the other. Let's get ready. Two, one, step up and drive that knee up. Same side. Five more seconds and then we're gonna switch. Feel free to go at your own pace. Switch. This is for all fitness levels. Anyone just starting out, please don't get intimidated by the high intensity name. Feel free to take it down a notch. And time. Whew. All right, we're going to go back to step. So you're going to flip it over. All right. Whew. Feeling good. I'm sweating. We're going to step up or step and front raise, okay? So working everything in five seconds. Three, two, and let's step and raise. Feel that resistance in your shoulders. That's it. And raise and step, raise and step. 15 more seconds. Breathe. Feel good? Five seconds and we rest. Woo! And rest. We're gonna keep the machine where it is right now in the grip position. And we're going to get behind it. Or sorry, should I say in front of it, our body's behind. Legs straight or kneeling. We're gonna work our triceps. All right, we're gonna go in 10 seconds. Getting ready in five, four, three, two, and let's lower down and up, down, up. Get the rhythm going that's comfortable for you. Keep the elbows in, core engaged. Nice work, guys. Keep it up. 15 seconds to go, and that will be a 10-minute workout, and we will have one cycle left. Of course, that's after our rest time. Three, two, and rest. All right, 30 seconds of rest and that's 10 minutes already. So even if you're taking a short break from work, if you're working from home, you snuck away to your corner to have a 15 minute workout. You can do so much in 15 minutes. All right, so we're starting back up with Number three, our last round. We're gonna go in five seconds, get down in a push-up position. Ready, and push up. Nice work. Feel free to challenge yourself by adding something on your back if you'd like. If you have little kids running around, and you can safely do it, you can actually have them sit on your back. <laughs> of course, if they're teenagers, that might not be a good idea. 10 seconds, Woo. five seconds. Nice work, I love this piece of equipment. Honestly, it is everything you need in a cube. <laughs> and rest. All right, back to our twist side. Running on the spot, it's not really running, I guess. Kind of cycling, moving those knees, bringing them in and out. All right, we're gonna go in 10 seconds. Catch your breath. Ready to go in five, three, two, and let's cycle. 
go. All right, stay, stay uh, stationary, or you can move around a little bit, adding some instability to you. That basically engages all your core when you start to move around, because you're doing your best and you're activating all those muscles to stay on the nice, soft cushion pad. 10 seconds. Keep going, rest if you have to. Don't feel ashamed, get back up and join in. Three, two, and rest. All right. Step up, knee ups next. All right. Just make sure you tuck away the resistance bands so you don't trip on them. All right. We're going to do, in 10 seconds, we're going to do 30 seconds of work. Step up, dry the knee up. 15 seconds on each. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. Step up, knee up. Nice work. Five more seconds on this side and we will switch sides. Stay focused, switch. Go as fast as your fitness level will take you. And rest. All right, our next one, we're going to be stepping. So flip it back. Okay, nice and easy. Okay, we're going to be stepping with the front raise next. All right, oops, there we go. All right, so get ready to get on. Ready, five seconds. Three, two, and let's go. Front raise and step. Fifteen seconds. Who would have thought? Everything you need in a cube. <laughs> Five more seconds, two, and rest. All right, last one coming up, leaving it right where it is. All right, we got 30 seconds. Oops, there we go. We're starting in 15 seconds. Take the time to breathe, to rest. 10 seconds, getting ready in five seconds, three, Two, let's go down for 30 seconds. Take your time. If you're more advanced, feel free to go faster or to stick your feet out like this. Okay. 15 seconds. Focus. It's our last move. That's it. Five more seconds. And time. I don't know about you, but that flew by. 14 and a half minutes. We got 30 seconds to cool down. All right, so feel free. Cool down or just relax and rest. I personally am going to finish off with some cardio. So I don't want to slow myself down too much. I do want to thank you for joining me for our 15 minute cube workout. Subscribe to the channel. I'll be adding more of these. Also incorporating other at-home fitness equipment pieces that I have here at home. And you know what? I can always give you modifications if you don't have these pieces of equipment. All right. Have a great day, everyone. I'm going to finish with cardio. Feel free to do the same. See you soon.